On one of my recent streams, someone asked me this question. What does your gaming setup look like? I answered their question, and a few minutes later, the same person put this in the chat. What kind of webcam do I use? I use a... After the stream concluded, I went to my Discord server and posted a poll on whether or not I should show off my streaming setup. And this many people said that I should. Not that many, but I'm gonna do it for them as well as anyone else who is watching and who is interested. And so, this is my streaming setup. As you can see, it isn't much, but it's what I have, so it works. Let's take a more deep look, shall we? If you've been tuning in to my streams, then this area would look familiar. This is the area where I actually sit down and control the stream. This is where I play the games that I stream. This is where I talk to you guys while I stream. This is pretty much where I stream. As you can see on the top of the couch, there's a dragon plush right there. And then to the side of the couch, there's all my Mario plushes that I use as decorations whenever I'm playing a Mario game. I try to have decor in the background to depict what game I'm playing. If I don't have decor that corresponds with the game that I'm playing, I just don't have anything. I just leave these LED lights up. Speaking of, yes, I do have LED lights. I got a set of LED lights last Christmas, but those ones ended up not working correctly. Half of them would show the colored light while the other half just died. That's what happens when you go cheap. So instead, my dad, through the goodness of his heart, replaced those sucky ones with these ones. And boy, do they work a lot better. This is the remote that I use to control the LED lights. I can do light blue, purple, red, green, dark blue, orange, and yellow. And then I can also do multicolor, as well as 4th of July themed lights, Halloween themed lights, and Christmas themed lights. And these up and down arrow buttons, they don't decrease or increase the brightness as you may think. It just slows down or rises the speed of the lights. if it'll work. There we go, that's the faster way. And then we got the slow way, but I like the medium way, so we're just gonna leave it at that. With that out of the way, let's move on to the arm of the couch over here. So on the side of the couch here, as you can see, the main thing is this big black box. That big black box is a mini fridge, and right now it's holding the ghost energy drinks that I'm doing a review series of at the moment. I still have to finish the last one that I reviewed, the Sour Patch Kids Red Berry flavor. And then I also have my LED light remote right there. I have a random red hat that I might put on during streams one day, I don't know. And then there's just a bunch of trash over here. I am the embodiment of white trash. And then if we do a quick turnaround, this is the desk where I keep all of my technology for streaming. Okay, this is a really bad angle. Let's fix this up here. And this is the desk. This is where all the magic happens. As you can see, my main machine is a 2018 iMac. And then of course, with the iMac, we have the magic keyboard and the magic mouse. I don't know if it's just me not knowing how to use technology, but recently I've been having issues with this magic mouse. Lagging, slow usage, just a whole bunch of issues. But I think we're starting to get that cleared. And then, as you can see, I have my Nintendo Switch right there. That is my main video game console that I stream off of. I used to play a few games on Steam on my iMac, but again, I've been having some issues with that. Who knows, I might stream Steam games again in the future when I get that issue fixed, but for now, it's solely Nintendo content. I have all my game cartridges right here. This is probably not the best idea. They're out in the open, so if someone breaks into my house, they're free game. 
hopefully whoever does break into this house one day, if someone ever does, is not a Nintendo fan. And then over here, I have my Pro Controller, the classic black edition. And then I also have my Joy-Cons that I use when my Pro Controller is acting up. And then right between the Nintendo Switch and the iMac, I have my Amazon Alexa. Okay, I was worried it was gonna go off. And then underneath my iMac, I keep my wires to plug into my headphones so I can stream. When I first started streaming, I didn't use these cords, but then I figured out that for whatever reason, if I don't plug these cords into my iMac with my headphones connected, then the sound just doesn't sound right. So that's a lesson learned. And also these white ones are starting to break down because the sound isn't really that good. It kind of cuts in and out. So now these black ones are my main headphone cables. You know what they say, once you go black, you can never go back. I'm gonna get canceled. Don't raise it! And then this is the webcam that I use. It's an Akita, Akita, I'm not really sure how you pronounce that, but I don't give a crap. Akita HD 1080p webcam. I don't know the full name of the webcam. If I can find it on Amazon, I'll post it on the screen right now. But yeah, this webcam is pretty nice. So I'm not gonna lie, if you don't have the correct lighting, then it does not look like 1080p at all. It looks like 720p at best. But if you have the right lighting, then it's pretty good. My hand is way too big to fit in the screen. If you have the right lighting, then it's pretty good. I zoomed my camera out and it's not that much better. I don't have that much leg room to work with. Or should I say, hand room? And then finally, we have this side of the desk, where I keep most of my YouTube equipment, actually. This is the microphone that I use. I use a Blue Yeti Nano, and I must say, this is the first external USB microphone that I've ever owned, and it works pretty nicely. It would have a red or green light on, on this circle here, depending on if it's off or on but I don't have it plugged in because I used it to film the intro to this video and I haven't plugged it back into my iMac yet. And then behind the microphone, we have some tripods. This is my main tripod that I use for most of my videos, if not all of them. I have a small tripod right here. I don't really use it that much. And honestly, that mini tripod is able to hold my webcam, but I like the webcam on top of my computer. It just looks natural that way. And then I have a water bottle over here in case I get thirsty while streaming or if someone redeems the hydrate point redemption thing. And then in the background, just because I have nowhere else to put it, I put this Dragonite Pokemon Funko Pop. I actually didn't get this out of like my want to get one. I believe it was late February, I contracted COVID-19, and as a get well soon gift, my friend Big Red Into House 456 got me that. And the thing is, I told him through text, you don't have to get me anything, but he was persistent. He was like, I don't care, I'm gonna get you this whether you like it or not. And one day, while I was playing Minecraft and getting ready to stream, I don't remember what game it was honestly, he came to my door and dropped this off. So, yeah, that was nice, even though I wasn't expecting him to come over that day. Either way, though, it was a nice gesture. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is what my Twitch streaming setup looks like. Comment down below, giving it a rating on a scale of 1 to 10 on how much you think it looks. 1 being absolute dog shit, and 10 being best streaming setup I have ever seen. And if you think it could be better, comment down below any ideas you have on how I can make it better. Anyways, with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this little mini tour. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe. And also check out my Twitch channel, twitch.tv forward slash hvgaming13. I go live every weekday at 4.50 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Anyways, with that, that's it for this video. I hope I will see you guys next time. And that's pretty much it. Scion Dragon out.